Howdy there, to Wow, you're looking pretty rough. Oh, that's just my reflection. This is the comment show for my long-awaited CD-ROM drive CNC machine video. If you have no idea what on earth I'm rambling on about, click here to watch the video and instantly become one of the cool kids. Alright, let's see what comments you all had for me. Yes, the old Tinker Nut is back like you promised. Did you just call me old? Will this work with all CD DVD drives? All you need from the optical drive is the stepper motor and laser carriage combo. And while most optical drives currently have those, some older ones have a weird derivative of that like this geared combination. So suffice it to say, your mileage may vary. I just have two broken CD drives. Would it be possible to build it? Also, would it work with an Arduino Nano? You'll find a lot of different versions of this project online, some of which use it as a laser cutter. And for that type of project, you don't need a Z-axis, which means that only two CD-ROM drives would work. And as for the Arduino, you should be able to use the Arduino Nano or almost any of the other derivatives of Arduino. This project is really cool. I'd like to see if it's possible to make the base a bit bigger though. The great thing about this project is that it shows you the most basic platform that you need to build a CNC machine. So using your creativity, you can use this platform to make a CNC machine out of almost anything that has sliding rails and a motor, such as a printer or a scanner. And those two will give you a much bigger build radius. What are a few things you could do with this besides the obvious? Well, that kind of depends on how creative you are. You could go the laser route and turn it into a laser cutter like I mentioned earlier, or you could get some type of cutting tool and turn it into a cutting machine, or you could use a Dremel with one of those flexible extension shafts and turn it into a milling machine, or you could go the 3D printer route and just get an extruder and a hot end like most 3D printers have, or you could go a little bit cheaper than that and try a 3D doodler, or my favorite, you could try to hack apart a hot glue gun and see if you could make that into an extruder. When is the next part coming? The final video of this project will be next week. And then since the week after that is Halloween, I may skip the next comment show and just post a Halloween tutorial. But we'll see how things go. All right, so my 300,000 subscriber contest is over, and uh, thank you to everybody that submitted a project. If you'd like to see who the winners were, you can go to this link. All right, everyone, thanks very much for your comments, and I'll see you all next week.